Apple's new colorful iPhone XR may look a lot like its higher-end siblings, but is it built as tough? The screen is made of the same glass as the iPhone XS, which survived our previous drop test. But the screen on the XR is bigger. The frame is made of aluminum, not stainless steel. And the glass on the back side is different too. Not to mention, the camera bump is more pronounced. Now, does this mean it will break faster? And well, that's why we're here at the scene of the crime. I have a brand new yellow iPhone XR that's ready to be put to the test. Now, before we begin, let me get this out of the way. This is not a scientific test, but more of a real world drop test scenario, which could happen to you, but results may vary. So with that in mind, we're gonna start our first drop at about hip height or pocket height where most of these accidents happen and I'm gonna drop it screen side down. Now just bear in mind that it's the same type of glass as the 10s, so I'm personally not expecting it to break. Let's see. Three, two, one. Now this was originally intended to be a screen test, but since it flipped and it landed on the back first, this is kind of a back test as well. And we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna let you guys see the back, which is what landed first. And I can already tell you that the screen is okay, but that's to be expected because it bounced and it hit the screen second. Now the back is bad. The camera's already cracked. The side already has a bunch of dents on this aluminum frame. The glass back itself is not broken, but I would argue that you'd be more upset if your camera broke than the glass back because now photos are definitely gonna be compromised. There appears to be just some scuffs on the side, but it's looking a lot worse than what the 10S looked like after the first drop. But we're gonna continue our testing and I do wanna test out that screen. So I'm gonna drop it again, this time with two hands, making absolutely sure that it's gonna land screen side down, but from the same hip height. Three, two, one. Well, it definitely landed on the screen. All right, I'm gonna let you guys look at the screen first. It did seem like it landed twice on the screen. There's some scuff marks, but I'm, as I'm peeling it off over here, it seems to be more, more of the actual pavement than scuffs. The sides have a little bit more scuffs on the front side, but overall, the front glass performed really, really well considering it landed face first. I'm going to have to keep going because there's still a lot more damage that can be done to this phone. I'm gonna take it now to about eye level to imitate what happens when you are taking a photo from about this height and your phone drops. So I'm gonna actually drop it on the side. This is what we did with the 10S. Uh, it may not land on the side. As you know, this phone is kind of weighted differently, uh, but we're gonna see what happens when I just let it free fall from its side. Three, two, one. So it looks like this time it landed on the side and then on the back. I'm gonna take a look at how the back is looking. I can tell you now the screen is still fine. How's the back looking? The back is still fine. It's just the frame that has more damage. It looks pretty bad at this point. I'm not sure if it's cement uh, or it's just that it has more scuff marks. Some of it is coming off, but it does look pretty bad. The frame on this phone at this point is really, really banged up. I am trying to look for any kind of damage on the actual glass though, and it's proving to be really, really hard, but there is a tiny little crack on the bottom corner of the back glass over here. It's pretty insignificant, but I have the feeling it already compromised the back, and I for one don't think it's gonna survive another drop. Let's take a look. I'm gonna drop it one more time from about eye level, five feet, but this time I'm actually gonna put it screen side down, um, which is what we did with the 10S because I was really wanting to break the screen. Three, two, one.
That really did not sound good. I honestly think we did break it this time, but let's take a look. I gotta say that this was a nearly perfect landing. And this is the fourth drop for this phone. So I'm gonna let you guys take a look. I don't wanna look. Oh yeah, that, that's the one that did it. That's definitely the one that did it. This phone is broken. The screen is shattered uh, from the top. Um, it still works, it's still in working order, but you would not want to put this up to your ear. There are shards of glass literally falling off as I am touching it, so I'm not going to touch it too much. Now the back still looks pretty good, except for that little, little scratch that I had pointed out previously on the bottom corner. Um, the aluminum frame, however, is pretty banged up at this point, and obviously that shattered screen does not look good. Now. This is the same type of glass that the 10s had on the screen and that one didn't break. So whether that's because of the aluminum frame or their larger screen size or just the way that it landed, we probably will never know because again, this is not a scientific test, but at least this screen is cheaper to replace than the one on the 10s. Now that said, it did survive three drops, including one from eye level. So that in and of itself is pretty impressive, at least more impressive than the phones the iPhones of the past. What is a bummer though is that the uh, lens on the camera cracked on the first drop. So for that reason alone you should absolutely put a case on this phone as soon as you get it and of course do not try this at home. So go check out our full review of the iPhone XR and our drop test of the iPhone XS on CNET.com. So I broke the iPhone XR, but before you leave, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to CNET to see more of these drop tests.